Alrighty then. Remember, it is strictly only a vision of my uh, soldiers, minions, whatever you want to call them. I cannot see what the enemy sees. Though I can't click them to see their relative position. So, I will only know the information that my players have. Alright, let's see if they start anything. Alright, basic earlier, you know, bottom lane harassment. Huh, Alistair started off with a red trinket, I barely noticed that. That's actually pretty smart. Basic start, yeah, there's nothing much right now, I'm just kind of waiting for more shit to happen. Alright, basic start here, ah! Let me move my mic, it's kind of in the position. Alright, so, as I already said, my money is on Sindra winning her lane, but it, it seems that she just got her ass kicked. And that double flash, you know. Holy shit, Cinder, what the fuck is Cinder trying to do? Fight like, or like one on one really early? Cassiopeia will win that trade. Like, Cinder needs at least level 3 to actually compete against someone as mobile as Cass. Wait, that's no, Cinder needs level 3 to compete against Cass. Okay. Alright, basic start here. Nothing is gonna happen here forever. And bottom lane, it's gonna be a dick waving contest for a little while until a lot of traps are set and. Hopefully my, uh, you know, Team Blue wars the shit out of this part. Though I doubt Quinn will amount to anything. The second she presses E, Alistair will just headbutt her away and nothing much. What happened? Here's something that won't off. Basic, basic. Eh, that's some mild harass. Actually, some good harass. Holy shit, that's Shen kind of fucked it up. Here comes Quinn, and Quinn did some damage. Don't fight it! Ooh, don't fight it, Alucard. They'll kite your sorry ass. They got red. But it doesn't look like it amounted to much. I'm pretty sure Quinn just kind of did it. Ooh, that's like four. Okay, that's four CS lost. Five CS lost by Darden. Shameful display. Don't stand still, Darden. Yeah, shameful display. You're welcome. All right, so Shen got beaten up a little bit, but you know he's got four potions left. He actually started off pretty smart though, I would have probably gone with the Doran shield and just kind of, because he has teleport, you know, might as well go with Doran shield and then invest in defensive items. There's Quinn right there. Oh man, that red trinket is useless. Uh, basically, you don't want to use red trinket if you think there's a ward that's already been placed there. Let's say, uh, let's say you think Alistair had put down a ward there about 20 30 seconds ago and it was his trinket ward those things don't last very long and then you ended up uh 
And then you end up going into this bush and then it turns out, oh, this is probably warded. And the only thing they could have had was the trinket ward or something like that. If you if you use your red trinket and you see that it has like five uh, five seconds left of health, you pretty much waste the damn thing. Yeah, you're going to get a little bit of gold out of it, but the thing was going to disappear anyways. Now you see, Nami just put down a ward here. If the red trinket is used for that ward, it's a far, far more valuable. Because the thing is still going to be on a long ass cooldown or something. Cool, but the cooldown to refresh, I think she just put it down. Uh, she just used herself as a lane ward, and in mid comes in the gank, and this is the first blood. I could just see from the mini map, it wasn't that impressive. But, it's, you know, a gank is a gank, so yeah. Also, that's kind of a funny way she's dead. It's like her ass sticking up in the air. Alright, top lane. It looks like uh, Renekton got ganked and got dealt some damage, but it cost Queen all her fucking mana. Alright, here he co she comes down bottom, but it's quite obvious they have that awarded, and that's way too close to the tower, it's not gonna mount too much. In fact, Delacar missed and he's actually gonna get punished for that. He took two shots of unnecessary damage. And the gains for it would have been so little. That is gonna cost Alistair more health than he just dealt too. Plus it cost him mana and it showed him cooldown, and now he's just getting punished. That's a really bad engage by Alistair because he didn't have his headbutt. They're good. Blue team bottom lane is going to take considerably more damage than they even managed to deal out. That was a really, really bad gank by Alistair. It also cost him his flash. That was just not smart. He already had used up his head, bud. The enemy team was too close to the tower. Twitch was like over here, so he couldn't do dick. So shit, that cost him so much. Purple team came out ahead of that one. Dalakar is back in Genki mid, but he got, it seems he got stunned. Says, whoa, that was just... Uh. Oh, I gotta watch that right now. Alright, so, Syndra gets herself tagged and she goes into the slow. Okay, no way, that's, that's, that's room left over from the warrior play. Oh, well, she just kind of got dunked on. Level 5 Syndra against level 6 Cassiopeia. She should have just realized that was gonna fucking happen. Alright, so nothing down here has happened so far. Uh, the Alistair and Twitch are kind of back at full health. I think Nami's sitting in the bush here. Is she? Yeah, she's just you know, duking around right there. Alistair really shouldn't engage on them. If he, if he Hebba pulverizes Caitlyn, then she's just gonna get bubbles thrown on them, and then Caitlyn's just gonna use her E and then shoot back. So it's a farm lane for Twitch here. Top lane is it's top lane. They're in their own little island. Mid is where all the extra is gonna come. So Dalakar is gonna have to be the game changer here. If he initiates on somebody at bottom lane, then they can obviously kill them without the crowd control. Twitch could just shoot away. Alright, they can actually engage now. Actually, no, Twitch is too low health. Twitch is too low health! That's just not a good engage. He exhausted Caitlyn, too. That's not a good, a good engage. Twitch was just way too low of health. Here comes the counter engage, and it's gonna cost Twitch's life. He also flashed away too early, so. Oh, that's a dead Alistair. That was so bad by the Alistair. He shouldn't have engaged, which was way too low health, he also had low mana. The enemy team was in a far better position to actually fight back, and they engaged on Nanami, meaning that Caitlyn just got a lot of free shots in. I don't know what the fuck happened there, but I don't want to rewind. I do want to see what happened up here, though. Oh. Right. So, obviously, Quinn came in, does some damage, used her ultimate. Quinn wants to die for this, she wants the alligator pussy. Dalakar is just gonna knock the lights out of the sh Oh, uh, he just kind of went back. The damage! Boom! Ultimate in, here comes Renekton. Double buff for Dalakar. And then he face checks the bush and gets wiped out. Okay. Okay, now I gotta rewind again, because it just seems that she just fucking killed somebody else. Oh, Caitlyn. Uh, you know where this is going. A lot of damage in her ultimate, so beautiful. Okay, Darden is cleaning the fuck up right now. Darden has himself three kills and one assist, no death. He doesn't even have that many items, so right now he's gonna come back and with. He's gonna buy himself 
a rod of ages. He's gonna become Tanky uh, Cassiopeia. Yeah. My bottom lane right now, blue team is not in the best spots, mostly because Alistair is doing some really questionable things. And Caitlyn is out farming Twitch too, so it's kind of just a disadvantage. Top lane is about even, with Shen honestly having the edge right now. Because he... Because Shen managed to survive the initial Renekton onslaught, and now he can just stop forever until he gets the Sunfire Cape and just start being a dick. God, I hate that sound effect. I like playing, you know, Scorpion Shen more. Alright, don't engage here, Alistair. Just don't engage! Your Twitch partner is nearly dead. Hell, right now, this Caitlyn, if, if Caitlyn and Nami, you know, did their ultimate, like, if Nami initiated with her ultimate, and it got Alistair, then Caitlyn probably do enough damage with her headshot and just dunk his ass. Here comes Dalakar probably trying to gain bottom, but it would not be a good idea. It would only be a good idea if he was able to get, uh, the Nami. Ooh, here comes the engage mid lane. But why? Why, Quinn? You don't have any damage, you useless champion! Alright, so... They just fed two kills. Not the smartest thing they could have done. What the hell kind of CC Quinn is gonna uh, have? We're gonna see this again, though. No. Okay, I wanna see this in slow motion. Dalekar goes bottom, and I'm assuming... I'm gonna assume Quinn came, came from right here. Because it just looked off. Oh, she came from behind. Holy shit, what the hell? No more spot her. So she comes in, deals absolutely no damage. The stun actually does hit. She just takes so much damage from the Cassiopeia. Quinn only has a bit of Lizard Elder. Shit. Oh, shit buckets. Okay, so. So many murder bloods for Cassiopeia. Queen of Gods. Dalakar's coming bottom, though I'm pretty sure this is boarded so they can just stay playing away. Uh, is it warded? E no! Or is it? I'm gonna have to check right now because it just sort of backed up a little bit late. Let me check actually. Is it warded? Yeah, it's warded. Finally, backed up a little later than I thought it would, so. I had to see because that was just an unusual movement from them. If I was jungler, I would have been duped into thinking they didn't have a ward. Alright, so I'm pretty sure Caitlyn's gonna ward this now. Yeah? There we go. So now this is warded, this party ran right out, and Cassiopeia is just on a fucking rampage. This Cinder didn't know how to play with her balls correctly. Go, mighty Alistair. Yeah, the snowball is happening. The poison ball. Just Caitlyn versus Alistair is a sad, sad sight. Okay, he's gonna trip the ward right now. No win. They're gonna back off. So yeah, there you go. Back off, back off, back off. There you go, playing safe. Dalekar cannot gank anything. In fact, yeah, oh, he was spotted by that minion. All right, I, I gotta rewind it a little bit and just show you guys that. The minion got a little too close. No, it's a little too far away. Now look, you're spotted by the ward, and then this this minions right here are gonna get close, and they spot him. That's just like really bad. He should have seen that coming by the rate that the monsters, uh, I mean the minions were killing each other. Sneaky sneaky. That's why whenever I gank you see me pay attention to the mini waves. You see me hang out over here until the melee units get killed or until they get held up by the, some other crap here and I sneak in just away from the line of sight of the minions. Those minions gave away Dalakar. Though honestly the wards already saw him so that it was no chance in hell. But still it was just kind of a, a good example of uh, the minion line of sight. All right, it looks like Cass. Oh, 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 yes. The, he got. He just got Shen's ultimate for free. Usually, Shen's ultimate is used when somebody's actually about to die. It didn't look like he was about to die. Cassiopeia had no ultimate. They just got a little panicky there, and the Shen got a little ambitious. Or when there's a counter gank coming. So Shen just used up his ultimate for no gain at all. Oh, sorry, after the odd. This has like been my weekend where I just took a vacation and just overslept everything, so. Really tiring week last one, so. That, that Shannon auto attacked a little too much, he just lost that one minion uh, right there. 
right now, this Shen has the advantage over the Renekton. Renekton just can't dunk him. And Shen, whenever he's got his ultimate, he's gonna have global presence. He really should go home when, as soon as he can buy Sunfire Cape. Bottom lane is a wasteland of nothing. Neither neither of these two can really initiate on the other. Once again, Dalekar comes bottom, but it didn't. It doesn't seem like they're reacting at all. So they don't have vision. Oh, wait, they have vision here. This is warded. That is warded. The, the second... Okay, I actually made a video about this. If the minions aggro to you when you're in the bushes, that means it's warded. That means they have vision of it somehow. So they, uh, they you know, focus on that car, which just may show that it was warded. Uh, vision of it. Alright, so CS wise, it's kind of even, honestly. Renekton is dominating the shit out of Shen and CS at least. Gold wise, it's obviously on blue side as they got more kills. Honestly, at this point, Dalakar, ooh, here comes Syndra. There's a ward though. Renekton, why are you fighting? There was a ward there. You already used. No, you didn't use your E, but. Yo, Renekton should survive here. Renekton is fine. Right now, Dalakar and Dalakar and Darden need to go for Dragon. Go for Dragon right now. You don't have enough minions here yet. Dragon, Dragon, bop the Dragon. And then Twitch killed Caitlyn, but Queen killed him too. Okay, so they can't do dragon anymore. Dragon, dragon, pop the dragon, Alistair's dead. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know, I'm trying to do the Dragon Ball Z theme. Alright, so bottom lane is gonna get dealt a lot of damage. Honestly, I see this is a bad idea, but Dalakar will be able to save it. No, don't go at them, don't go at them because they have CC. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! They're gonna just fuck you up. You're Dalakar. You're a dead man. You're a dead man. If oh, oh, you got your flash. That was not a wise idea. Nami had mana and was alive. Dalak, uh, Vi doesn't do enough damage quick enough that early. And then they just got uh, dunked up here. So I'm gonna check that out. All right. So they're fighting the Renekton, and in comes Cassiopeia. Obviously, he's just basically being invaded. The Dominus gets. Man, that's just dumb. Okay, so they're doing a fucking loopy loop here, and Syndra face checks the bush against a Renekton. That is not something. Shen almost face checked too. That shit's just not smart. And then they just follow up and kill these two. Like, oh my god, so many mistakes were dealt here. I gotta show it to you again in slow motion. So okay, Renekton is fighting the Shen. In comes Syndria to deal some damage. Almost killed him if it wasn't for his ultimate Dominus. Cassiopeia is coming. And Renekton, instead of running to Cassiopeia, runs around away from Cassiopeia. So it's like she has to chase him now and it gives him a chance to, you know, respond. However, they split up instead of going together. And the Syndra face checks this tribush without any vision. So Renekton is able to turn around and just deal a shitload of damage and kill her first. Shen can't deal any damage to anyone whatsoever, so he's forced to just run away because he's all alone now. And then my, these two guys just kind of turret dive him because what the fuck is Shen gonna do? And he gets killed. That was just so many dumb things all together, all at once. It is a sad day. A sad day. And over here is a fight going on that I don't think anybody cares about. Syndra seemingly died again by Cassiopeia and Twitch, I think. Oh, are they gonna turret dive? If they turret dive, these guys will die, my motherfuckers. Just stay under the tower. Alistair's got. If Alistair plays this right, it will go good. Don't take too much damage, Alistair, bro. Don't take too. Go! Oh, oh, if it was just close to the wall, they could have killed Bastard. But no. Cassiopeia should be able to push this tower back, and Alistair should be able to uh, give up his life. Oh, she's got her ultimate! I thought she already used it! Oh, Cassiopeia is going to go down there giving the shutdown go to Caitlyn. But the tower is safe for a little while longer. Dalakar code on bottom. Once Switch arrives, you'll be able to kill somebody. Alright. Alright. Dalika, go! Just initiate on anybody! Initiate! You missed your Q! That was like the easiest Q to land! 
use your ultimate on Nami. Whatever. Okay. Nami is gonna die though. Yeah. Oh no shit. Holy shit, Caitlyn has a lot of damage. Damn, Dalakai, you just don't pick your targets appropriately. They should Oh, here comes the Shen Ultimate. The Shen Ultimate's pretty much a dead ultimate too again. Why are you still there, Delacar? Run, you motherfucker! Oh! Oh, the Queen's gonna get killed! The Red Buff is gonna take him down! No! Shit! Like, five health or something. Well, no, Delacar should've just chosen Nami, killed her, and then should've walked away. Kaden fucking destroyed the Twitch! She has an Infinity Edge! She got a good critten! Here comes Cassiopeia to turn the tide! And there's no communication there, but I'm pretty damn sure Cassie B is gonna kill. Oh no. Can she kill? No, the Q missed. She doesn't get her passive. Renekton! She's gonna face check this again! Oh no, she got close enough to cast sort of face check it, but she's dead anyways. Cassiopeia! I mean, Caitlyn has four kills, four assists, and she's collected at least three bounties so far. She's ahead in gold. How much gold does she have total? 7,000. Slightly less than the Cassiopeia, who's been murdering everybody, and slightly less than the Renekton, who's hyper farmed. And that's murder guild, too. Alright, bottom blue team is getting themselves the tower now. Don't go for it, Witch! You will die! Quinn is over here! We just saw that fucking ability of hers. It's three people! Oh, and here comes the teleport! Run for your life! Run for your lives! They can't even chase anymore. Why are you doing that shit? You 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 don't have anything to follow it through. The most you can do is throw a dagger now. That was pretty much a waste of a long ass cooldown ability. Of course you can do dragon now, but holy shit! It's just I'm gonna dash over the wall. Then what? I'll stare at them to death. So we're right here. You know Cassiopeia catches off the Nami. They, you know she should really focus. On the actual threat, that's the Caitlyn, not the Caitlyn's gonna live, and, oh my god, this fight is just bad. You, Darden, why did you focus the wrong target? You don't even have your ultimate anymore. They could have killed the Caitlyn, but instead, Darden focused the Nami. That was some expert level tunnel vision right there. Okay, this tower is gonna fall, and if they had any actual crowd control, they could have killed this. Oh, actually, they're gonna go for Twitch anyway. Kill the Caitlyn! Kill the fucking Caitlyn! Kill the Caitlyn! She's the actual threat here! Well, Caitlyn's gonna get to live, but Caitlyn's just gonna have to run now. They killed three people here for, I guess, the life of Dalakar. The, the one by. But that was honestly a lot of stupid plays that could've gone a lot smarter if they actually focused the fucking Caitlyn. Holy shit! God damn it, Cardarden! You're dominating the game, but you're doing something really dumb! Focus! The Caitlyn! Oh boy, my minions, they hurt me inside. Oh, don't get too close, the tower's gonna focus you. Just take out the tower. You see, look, it's, it's the problem with the poisons right here and the dodge and shit. You gotta, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. You don't get too hurt. Quite. Alright, so, they took almost no damage and the tower did a lot more damage to Castropia than they did. Honestly, what blue team needs to do right now is just group up. They have a massively powerful Cassiopeia. That will be hard to kill. Though she needs a Leandries after she builds a Rylai Scepter, because otherwise she won't have that much damage. So, Leandries after Rylai Scepter. Renekton also now needs to build like a Randuin Zoman. And these guys right here, they're pretty fucking behind. This Twitch is like paper. They didn't do anything. Dude, dude. Oh god, Alistair destroyed that minion, I think. Alistair's just taking more CS than he needs to from his teammate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so three people mid. I don't know where the rest of the, uh, the teammates are. He should stay here. Dalakar should stay here. They can't ward anything. As soon as Renekton gets in, initiate now, Delacar. Initiate now, because you got a Cassiopeia. Why on the Syndra? That all that Cassiopeia ultimate is bad. It should feel bad, but the CC from the Alistair is doing some work here. They should focus the fucking Caitlyn. 
Because she's the one with the most threat. The Syndra's died too many fucking times to be of any use. But here comes the wipeout of the enemy team. Four for nothing. Still the focus to Caitlyn. It's a Syndra with 10 deaths. How dangerous can she be at this point? Like even if the Caitlyn had was 0, zero, zero she still has an Infinity Edge, it still has more farm. The Syndra has 10 deaths and no kills. And now there's the Ace right there, the delayed Ace, but the Ace nonetheless. So, focus the fucking Caitlyn. And there's an execution on the Twitch. There's a death on the Alistair, I don't even know why he got close. Here's another death on the Syndra. Why are they afraid of the Syndra? Dalakar, use your ultimate on the fucking Caitlyn for once. My god. Oh god. Oh, shameful display. Here comes everybody. Okay, Dalakar's probably going to die here. No, no. They're not chasing. But I'm pretty sure they're around here. Yeah, Shan is here. Queen is. Nah, they kind of gave up when they're chasing. My, my god. They are doing some stuff. Stupid things. Well, Syndra. Wait, Syndra got a kill. Oh, yeah, I just barely saw. It was the Alistair kill, and Syndra's the one who got it. With Syndra getting a kill now, she's actually worth money! Oh, that trap. Alrighty then. Quinn. Aname. Honestly. Oh, sorry. Honestly, at this point, either Caitlyn or Quinn are good targets or Doom. Oh, here comes Quinn. Why, Quinn? That was just dumb. Kill that motherfucker. Oh, she's gonna get a kite. This is a really bad fight for Purple Team. My god, that's not a great ultimate by the Cassiopeia, but it doesn't matter. There's no response from Purple Team. So basically, two free kills. Two free kills in favor of Blue. Syndra killing nobody. Block that shot, okay. Here comes Syndra, ready to die once again for her country. No. It... Okay, Caitlyn. Caitlyn is dead. Alright, Caitlyn's dead. Uh, Renek is dead. Syndra is going to die again here because, you know, she has. She's gotten used to just dying. Wait, no, she's not. Oh! Oh! She going. She lives! Oh my god, she lives. I think the Syndra just used 11 deaths in order to, you know, make. Oh, here comes Shen. What is he gonna accomplish? Absolutely fucking nothing. Oh, he's got the home guard. And he's gonna get slowed. And he, <laughs> he did nothing. This is gonna get slowed by Rylai. What are you gonna do, Shen? Keep chasing? Where's Shen, anyways? Okay, Shen is just like, My god, I suck. You really do not know what the hell you're doing half the time, do you, Shen? But it's all good. I don't know what level they are, but I'm just, you know. Assuming it, uh, it's the same, you know, like, unranking silver division that my smurfs are. I mean, smurfs. My mini slaves are. Alright, so. Alistair. What is Alistair even building? I didn't pay attention to the fuck. Okay, he's building Randuins and he's got himself that Shirelia's wannabe item. Which is actually a very smart thing, because the enemy team has pretty much slugs on their team. Oh, man. If he had headbutt that Shen, it would have been a kill. Oh, what is Dalakar build? Dalakar's build is still stupid as hell. I'm sorry, Dalakar, you don't know how to build half the time. I question how you wake up. Anyways, Dalakar gets himself caught. He's going to try to escape. Oh! Oh, they bugged out the Q! Run for your life, Dalakar! His Q is back in a few seconds. Oh, yeah! Oh, no! Oh, no! He's dead, finally. Okay, he's dead. But in the meantime, my team just pushes down mid, and they don't get shit. Come on, guys. Really should just try to focus fire the, the turrets. 
You guys can't let man that did nothing to the L the to the to the Twitch considering the fact it's a fucking Twitch that should be killed in one shot. Meanwhile Renekton's push no not anymore, you fucking cowards. All of you! You guys need to group up and you guys gotta win. They got a dragon, no one paid attention to that. Group up, blue team! You guys got the advantage in teams! Don't go around down a car by yourself, or else you'll die again. Uh. Go, majestic mouse. Go, cow. Man, I just realized something. There's an alligator or a crocodile. There's a mouse. There's a cow and a snake. And no, well, this is a woman. But so she, I guess, doesn't count. If there was somebody else, like I don't know, what other animal thing? Soraka. It would have been Team Barnyard and uh, and shit. So. Once again, Alistair's ultimate is burned for no reason. They really, really should group up. Because if they take forever, two carries have the potential of just winning the game. Cassiopeia's engaging, nothing's gonna come of it because they don't really have an organized team right now. Purple team is gonna get dunked on now because they really did not respond to this aggression for blue team appropriately. My god, purple team. Why did you guys just sit there jacking off? Alright, so purple team just lost two for nothing. They're gonna lose the turret. They're gonna lose his inhibitor. Alright. Renekton is not gonna do to dick either. Why, Delacar? You're just gonna get killed under the tower. Oh, well, actually, they're gonna kill him. Because Renekton did the smart idea choice of turning around. Shen's gonna get away. Nami's gonna miss her. You. Get the, okay, this inhibitor's down. You guys should just rotate to top. Kill these minions and push top lane. You got three people dead. Only one of them will respawn in time. Oh god, you guys are going home. I just pushed ours. You guys have the definite advantage. Whatever, they're gonna get a blue buff for free. Still, the Leandri is on. What's her face? Yeah, Supia would still be a pretty nifty idea. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Renekton. This should be warded because this is about the only thing they get. Uh, Bear is about the only chance they have to in order to, you know, make a comeback. Alright. So, Twitch is huge. Alright. Twitch is engaging with a no with a spell that doesn't do anything. And like in, without it, you know, being kinda of taken advantage of. So that was absolutely pointless. And if they if the enemy team actually had any engaged, that would have been a dead twitch. Blue team, please gather up together and do something. They're like who gives a fuck about that tower? Let it die at this point. Oh my god, Alicor, you're going off on your own again. You're not gonna come. Why are you going in on this? Shen is gonna initiate. Just help out Caitlyn. Then the enemy team is gonna collapse on you, and you're gonna die an embarrassing death. Good job, Alicor. It's like we you haven't been warned about this before. Blue team is making this game last longer than it needs to because they're not grouping up. The, they have the chance. Redacted. You're caught too. You don't have anybody with you! Oh god! Oh god! Oh man! Group up! Just group the fuck up already! You guys can win this if you group up! Ah. <sighs> 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 
All right, please. Can you guys group up? All right. Group up, top lane, or right now, group up, push this mid lane because that inhibitor is about to spawn. It respawn. You guys need to kill it again. Twitch, group up with your teammates. You guys are dragging this out so long. You guys wonder why I don't upload these to YouTube. Because when this game should have been over 10 minutes ago, you guys just said, you know what this game needs to last an hour? My god, this is low, like the lowest form of below. It's like nobody knows how to win. Take that tower and just ignore them because they're not fighting this in the right as the best ways. Just kill that shit. Don't waste your crowd control on him, Alistair. Well, except the headbutt, I guess. Renekton got pushed off. In comes the CC from Cassiopeia. In comes Bird Bitch. And she's gonna get CC locked and absolutely dunked. Okay, if you guys don't win this in this final push, I will disown all of you. I will tell your mothers that I won't see her anymore. Holy shit. Sandra shouldn't amount to much right here. She's weak as shit. Don't even try to kill her. Dalakar, why? Why would you do that, Dalakar? Renekton's dead here too. Alistair's dead here too. Why? You guys, you guys just gave Syndra a triple kill. You guys just gave the 212 Syndra a triple kill. She's going to die here right now, probably. No, she's going to get to live because she's not going to kill her. But you just gave her a triple kill. My god. You, yeah. God damn it, man. If you were my children, I'd beat you. Oh god. Well, back to doing this for another five to ten minutes, right? My god. Alright, are they gonna go for Baron? Come on. Alright. I really do need more sub emoticons, but I need to get 100 subscribers in order to get that. So I need 30 more subscribers, and I'll be able to get more emoticons. Two more, in fact. So unless I ask them to re. You know what? The jungler of Blue Team isn't doing Baron with them. They. Delacar just died absolutely pointlessly and now you know, the enemy team gets to run the fuck away I, they're gonna get it's a 5v4 sure blue team has Baron but unless somebody dies okay fine the, or, the tsunami's dead the, uh, here comes a teleport here comes here's a dead twitch a dead twitch and a Quinn but still it's a 3v2 you guys can take the- oh, wait, no they can't. They don't have an A to carry. See, this game is gonna last another five minutes. Oh my god, Dalakar, why? Why did you fight them 1v4? My god, I'm getting diabetes from this. <sighs> Alrighty, Twitch is still alive. Alright, Dalakar. Onwards.
Alright, engage happens. Oh god, it's so disorganized. Caitlyn gets a few shots in. But, they're gonna finally actually kill her. That should have happened at the start instead of ha it dragging out a little longer than it should. Alright, oh! Oh, he caught the Quinn even though he probably didn't want to. That's gonna kill two or three more of them, so. It's a wipe here. Uh, they can't kill the Cinder, can they? Yeah, here comes the Q. Wow, Dollar Car, wow. But they still gotta kill the Syndra. They surrender. But the Nick should have been destroyed anyways. But my god, this game is finally over. Oh god. It's like I gave birth to a fat ass baby. And now I'm I'm in pain. I didn't even Ah